Okay. Hey, Lorenzo. How you doing down there? Is it a good day to be a pig? It would appear to be a good day to be a pig. Or at least, a reasonably good day to be a pig. So, I just popped on here because it's been absolutely forever since I've done an episode. Um, I, like, haven't even been in the world for a little while. I'm totally just, like, I've been doing stuff on multiplayer and all kinds of other garbage. And, like, I've even, like, completely lost track of where I'm at in the world right now. Um, but I figured the best way to get back on track would be just start recording. And we'll go from there. Um, I do remember I did quite a bit of work on the, um, mob system area. Yeah, it's looking pretty nice. Looking pretty nice. Um, I got some nice patterns in the floor. I have these, like, post things. It's gonna be the central area. Um, and in here, I haven't quite worked out exactly how I'm gonna do it. There's gonna be a staircase going down. Um, and I wanted to show you guys roughly what I'm thinking for each of the levels here, each of the um, spawning levels. Basically, this is what's gonna look like inside. And they're going to be, what, like 20 of these or something? Um, some crazy number. Um, but this will be replicated over there, and then over there, and then over there. And then, you know, like four or five times going down, you know. So there are going to be a crazy number of these things replicated over and over again. Basically, it's really simple. Um bunch of different potential mob spawning spots um and so you know all this will be dark of course when this is all said and done and mobs can spawn on any of these and the chances are good that they will walk directly off and if they walk in pretty much any direction from one of these squares they're probably going to fall into the water and then they can't get out and they will be brought directly down into the center and from there I can do with them what I wish. So that'll be, you know, really cool. And I've, you know, continued hollowing this out quite a bit and been fooling around with continuing the project. Um, and I'm gonna need to do a lot more work before it's anywhere close to done. Oh, well, I, I'd also better introduce this concept as well because I'm gonna be very limited in what I can do with this because instead of torches here, I want glowstone lamps. Glowstone lamps here and here on every level. Um, and, you know, rotationally symmetrical. Um, and I'm going to have a system of redstone torches coming up um, through here. It's not just going to be basic stacked torches because that doesn't work out nicely. I need to do something more creative. It's going to be occupying these one by two areas behind the walls. Um, that I've currently got open on all sides. So, basically I need to wait until I've got a source of glowstone before I can really finish any of this off. I need to at least keep these open and accessible so that I can add those um, later on as I continue to hollow out and so on and so forth. But, I may as well come up here to show you folks basically the general idea. That's, you know, there's the hole in the bottom. Um, and the pattern here actually directly represents the, um, platforms and water streams. If you imagine that the stone brick is water streams, um, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight from the source block to there, and water travels eight blocks, so it ends right there. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All of these source blocks are exactly 8 spots away from the end point, and so I don't need signs or anything to hold it in place. It just sort of ends nicely exactly where I want it to. And there's no complication with, you know, currents going everywhere or so on. And the way I've currently got it set up, um, there's actually a block missing here on each of the sides so what it works out to be th these are actually spawning spots um, what it ends up working out to be is if I remember correctly 40 spawning spots 
per level, per, you know, level of the cylinder. So there's like 40 spawning spots here. That Well, there, there should be 36 plus the additional 4 that I add by taking out the little corner pieces there. So that should be good. That multiplied by, say, 4 vertically times 4 again, that'll give us, you know, a good multiple hundred um, easily to work with. And then lighting up, I think I worked it out so it would be close to a hundred, or rather close to a thousand. Um, and then assuming that I can manage to get all the caves in the area lit up, um, hopefully that will end up working quite nicely. Um, so hopefully that illustrates that a bit better, um, and illustrates why I need glowstone and redstone before I can really do much of anything else. Um, over here I've been working on smelting down the, um, massive amounts of smooth stone that I need. I've got nice cobble chest over here. Um, let's see, where did I leave stuff off down here? Uh, that's that. Um, where I got killed by the Enderman and then did a little bit of caving. Down here, nothing interesting. Still haven't continued this branch mine too far. Yeah, I see it ends there. I haven't even done that much on the top area. Yeah, I've done like three passageways. I need to work on this more. Um, and then over here, that's, yeah, okay, that's the um, other cave, which I think should be fully lit up. Um, so, I hear a slime. I heard a slime. Is there a slime around? I can't tell if that's lava or slime. Come on. I can't tell. Oh well. I will leave it for later if it is indeed a slime. Because slimes rarely despawn, if ever. There was a time, I know for certain, that they did not ever despawn. I'm not sure if they do now. That's sort of been called into question. I don't know. I don't think they despawn as readily as some other mobs, but I'm not sure. Be worth reading up on at some point. So, yeah, I guess I haven't really done all that much since I last checked in. But there is some stuff which I would like to do, um, which I wanted to be sure that I did something. That was a spider. There must be a spider outside. Okay, yeah, it's dark. It's dark out. Um, I think I... Eh, hate it when I do that. Um, I'm not in a great mental state right now. I got not nearly enough sleep last night, and, you know... I can give all the usual excuses, but that will not stop me from trying to put out a decent episode today. I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to risk trying to get out there and mess about. I've been fooling around on hardcore mode a lot lately, and that makes the prospect of messing about at night in, you know, just ordinary survival a lot more manageable. Uh, it's um, and by hardcore, I mean actually um, not just hardcore, but ultra hardcore of the uh, Minecraft server, as in the mod that makes things considerably more intense. That's an archer. I've grown to have a greater appreciation of their um, ability to kill you <laughs> um, playing on hardcore. Because they are absolutely terrifying. And they will, they will, they will destroy you if you look at them wrong. Where'd my gravel go? Ah. Yeah, it's always, that is, that is the downside. I think the general consensus is that that is the downside to the new gravel texture. Gravel and cobble. I mean, from here it looks kind of, you know, they look pretty much different. But in the inventory, like, those are too close. And when you've got, like, a chest full of them... Yeah, I think we will erect a permanent monument of some kind to Carter here. So that's that is important. 
I need a bed so that I can not bore people with waiting for day because I did not plan this out well at all and I'm unwilling to actually edit footage or anything so it's not gonna be a matter of cutting and coming back to it yeah it's solid night damn it uh, let's see is there anything else that I can do underground um hmm hmm there aren't any caves around here that I haven't explored really uh, I could try and do some aesthetic stuff, but I don't have that much to work with for aesthetic materials. I want to get a bigger range of materials before I really try and start working on that kind of thing. I could work on the staircase, I suppose. That would be a relatively quick and easy project, as I imagine. I could just replace it with stone bricks. I've got the materials, sure, I'll do it. And hopefully by that time it will be daytime and we will head outside and do things. Because I have some ideas for things to do outside. Specifically, I want to go exploring because I chose this map partially because there were some really cool things that I found when I briefly checked around. And I want to see if I can find those again or find other interesting things around. Right now, the cave is pretty boring, um, and also it would, if I find other things to do stuff with, it could open it up for, you know, for me to have more to do between episodes, really, uh, because um, right now, as it is, it's like, you know, I'm working on the mob system and mining, and that's like basically it, and that's kind of boring, at least for me. So I'm probably going to want to just, you know, come up with something else for the sake of continuing interest and not getting bored of the project. Um, so, uh, once I've gotten this, that is one annoying thing about the new potential block orientations. Um, same thing with logs, like it's... It's certainly true that it is awesome to have the possibilities open, but it is also certainly true that it can get annoying when you place them the wrong way accidentally. <sighs> Note to self, don't make episodes when ridiculously overtired and sleep deprived. This is just ending badly. Hopefully, I will get better as the series progresses and know not to make stupid mistakes and so on, such as trying to record when I'm not really even sure exactly what I'm going to do. I will go in with a plan, and I will be much more successful. That's how it'll be. That's how I will do things from now on, or so on, something like that. I also need to remember to speak up, because I'm not even sure if... It'll be loud enough right now, level at which I'm talking. I just need to get more energy. I need more energy in my voice and in my actions. What was that? I think I was just in the chest. It's like inside the chest. That's cool. Awesome. Alright, that looks a little nicer. At least for now. That'll be... Yeah, that's kind of cool. That's a little better. A little better than it was. Um, and I will continue to improve this on or off camera. Oh yeah, that'll actually probably save me a lot of hunger. As a matter of fact, just because I waste so much going up and down. Well, up, mostly. Because down doesn't waste too much in the way of hit hunger points. Alright, um, I think I've got basically all I'd need to go exploring, so, um, friggin' spider? Three of them! Jesus! Stupid spiders. Come on, just, no, stop it, stop it, okay, where's the other one? Where's it? Waiting for the other shoe to drop, yeah, okay, there we go, there we go, and a die. Thank you, good spider. 
Good spider. Good spider, die. Ah, uh, all right, let's move out. Home, I don't really want to go to the jungle just because jungles are a pain to traverse. I really love them and I'll probably end up building something in there. Um, and it's really good to know that there are at least two jungles right nearby. But I'm not going to fool around there just now. I'm going to strike off in a semi-random direction and see what I find. Um, I find another spider. I find grassland. There's a desert. That's good. Um, I find chickens. I've got plenty of farm animals around. This is good. This is awesome. Like, bunch of cows. Wow. Bunch of cows. That's a lot of cows. I'm not going to complain about having too many cows, though. Um. I am not going to lie. There was a massive cave system that I found when I was initially reviewing the seed. And I'm kind of hoping I come across it again. I have no idea where it was. That looks interesting, though. Look at this. Look at this. This is pretty... This is even reasonably close to our house. My house. I'm doing it again. Hi, guys. Wow. Wow. Ha. Ha. Oh my. Zombies, you so crazy. Now I just need to dig out this entire place. Oh, that was stupid. Um, sand, why not? I'll just fill it with whatever. Um, I do not know where the other zombies are. This is a cool find. Um,. It's not all that common to find surface dungeons like this. It's not that uncommon, but it's uncommon enough that it's cool. And it's re and the fact that it's pretty close. I think it's a zombie dungeon, though, which is sad. If it was an archer dungeon, I would have been very happy. I would have been very, very happy indeed. I would have been very, very happy. Oh, that's where, the, that's where they're going to be. I'll be a cave of some kind. Eh, okay. Fine, then. Actually, you know what? heck with that soon I'm if this takes too long or whatever if I get bored here I might just strike off and continue exploring because I'm going to run out of daylight but for now I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can get this place digged out Wow really yeah I'm gonna see if I can get this place dug out um, excavated shall we say um, in an expedient fashion. Where is the good old spawner? It's somewhere in there. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. Um. Interesting. We've got some resources over here. be done with this in a sec I promise ah there we are there's our zombie it's making all these noises oh there are a bunch of them ha ha they're stuck okay yeah you just keep spawning and falling down I guess that's great it's, mm, that's just funny oh well so that is a cave to be explored and lit up at some point, but not doing it right now. Dig away just a little bit more of this sand. Sand is not as annoying as gravel. Sand is not as annoying as gravel. It's annoying, but it's not as annoying. I can live with sand. Sand is okay. Whereas gravel is just simply annoying. Especially because digging out all this sand will give me potential glass. Which I am very much okay with. Because glass is cool. Glass is actually quite useful. 
um, whereas gravel can only give you flint. Well, it can be useful in like a hardcore situation where you really need arrows in order to kill off other players. It's sad that I only have one chest, that's too bad, but redstone isn't bad, saddle is kind of cool, iron, gunpowder, cocoa beans are unnecessary. Um, how best to do this? I always hate having a full inventory. Um, I just need to dump stuff behind. Um, I don't even care. Actually, you know what? I'll leave the cocoa beans because they're less valuable to me right now. So I'll remember this. Um, and it might become an XP farm at some point. I wouldn't count on it though because zombies aren't gr aren't a great source of XP. Um, and they don't really drop anything particularly useful. I mean. Rotten flesh is good if you have lots and lots of wolves, and that's about it. So, it isn't really worth it. I am going to get myself completely lost soon. Just watch me. Um, this is actually... Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, um, I really should have thought to clean up my inventory before doing this. Um, I can do that to get, get myself one more inventory space. Then I'm going to have to start placing chests or something, or ditching stuff, which I do not like to do at all. I nearly fell in another cave. That's always cool. Oh, look at this. This is not the cave which I found, but it is certainly worth further investigation at some point. Oh, well, that's a big anticlimax now, isn't it? It might go somewhere in the other direction. Let's see. Um, not that way, but this way. Oh, it would appear to go someplace this direction. I will certainly check this out again later because that is intriguing. Um, maybe that'll be another episode or something, but right now I just want to explore more during the day. That's odd, weird sand formation. So, I better get a torch on the high ground or something, or else I am definitely going to lose track of where this is. Uh, up here, and then, can I make it? Not if I'm not sprinting. That's not going to end well. Um, give me a sec. Whee! Yay, I did it. Go me then I think I'm going to continue heading off in this direction, see if we can spot anything else particularly interesting before night falls. How much time do we have? What time is it? What time is it? Okay, yeah, we've, we're slowly running out of daylight. As I suspected, and I'm not even sure what direction our house is in. My house is in. I'm going to keep correcting myself on that until I get it. Like, until it is through my head that this is me and this is not you because this is about me I am going to be selfish about this I'm going to be incredibly selfish about this to the point of ridiculousness potentially there's a cavelet not appear to be anything significant well it's something I don't know I would not appear to be much Here a zombie might be an indication of a cave system. I have this weird love-hate relationship with cave systems. I mean, they can be really beautiful and incredibly interesting. That's the main reason why I'm hunting them out right now. Um, and there was, you know, especially because I'm looking for one in particular. I should really try and head back to my house, especially because I don't know where it is and the sun is setting. Um, I'll try and remember. I think it was off in this direction that I found the interesting cave system. Um, yeah, I, I really, I love caves, and they're really cool, and yet I hate them, because that's not the direction my house is in, is it? I'm not at all sure. I'm not even sure if I'll be able to reliably F3 this or anything. Hmm, this could get interesting. Might have to camp out near this lava spring or something. Um, well, I'm roughly between the two. Wait, have I just walked? I just walked in a giant circle. Okay, I know where I am again. Crisis averted. 
Don't mind me. Everything's fine. Everything's absolutely just dandy. Drop off my newfound goodies and so on. And then... Then I don't know what the heck we're gonna do. What the heck I'm gonna do. Um, because... Nighttime is boring right now. Nighttime is very boring because I don't really have much to do at night. In fact, I might just end the episode because I don't have anything in particular to do and it's just going to be boring. Yeah, I'm just going to pick it up once I've done some more stuff and figured out where I'm at, gotten my stuff together. So, um, is there anything I wanted to mention? Uh, I don't think so. I guess that's it. I'll s make another episode at some point and talk to you guys later.